Good morning. This morning I am out working on my skid steer. My skid steer is old. It's from when I did construction work and I can't really justify buying a new one for a little 10 acre farm. So we've got what we've got. Um, the rings are wore out so it, it's got real bad blow by but it runs runs perfect. It just has pretty bad blow by so much that it blows the dipstick up out of its out of the, the hole. So I have come up with a little little hack that i'm going to show you guys this morning on how to catch the blow by keep oil from getting everywhere and the oil that does go by to be able to reuse it so what i've done is i've macgyvered a little thing to make this thing work like i say i've ordered a rebuild kit i don't have time right now to work on it i'm behind on chores it's been so hot that i haven't been able to do anything and now it's cooling down so i have plenty of stuff i need to get done and i need to use this skid gear to get it done so this winter when it's cold and miserable and i can't do anything else i'll pull it into the shop and we'll rebuild the motor um we're waiting on parts we've ordered them and they come from china so hard telling how long it's going to take for them to get here but until then i still need my equipment to work so we're going to show you what, we, what we've got going on and how we're going to make this thing work and you guys will probably think i am the most sketchy redneck you've ever met in your life after this but that's okay that might be true so anyhow i'm gonna show you what i've got going on so here is my bobcat and it is a good a good little running tractor i mean i have put thousands of hours this thing has moved more dirt and concrete than it should have in one in one life but it's an awesome little one um it's got a five foot bucket plenty big enough for anything that we're going to do around the farm so anyhow you can see in here it is a nasty mess and what happened is the dipstick blew out because of so much pressure so what i've done is i've taken my dipstick out and here's my dipstick and i got a piece of hose that is the same diameter as my dipstick so you can see that hose is the same diameter as my dipstick so what i'm going to do is i've taken and drilled the hole on top of the oil bucket and i'm going to put the oil bucket in there I got the hose going into the oil bucket instead of putting my dipstick in i'm going to put this hose in and then when i have blow by instead of it blowing the dipstick out it'll blow that pressure up through this hose and into this hose into the oil jug so it'll keep all the blow by and it's very small amount of oil that comes out but it needs a vent to let the pressure escape so this will give me that vent that it needs but it will also keep that oil from getting all over everything and it will catch the oil that that does come so i can just dump it right back in not the perfect solution and this is pretty redneck and it could be risky about you know using a motor that's that wore out but i got to rebuild it anyhow and i really need it bad right now so here's how i'm going to do it so we're just going to replace the dipstick with hose and let that oil blow right back into the bucket so anyhow i just thought i'd share this with you guys i am a little bit sketchy of a redneck so. but it's going to work i know it will i've tried it before